It's Saturday morning, and if you're up already, here's everything you need to know to get through today. We went hands-on with part one of Bioshock Infinite's burial at CDLC. It took us about two hours to get through it, only to come straight up against a real shocker at the end. Without giving anything away, we can say the DLC takes place on December 31st, 1958, the eve of Rapture's collapse. Players will get the chance to explore the city under the sea before taking off with Elizabeth. Series creator Ken Levine told us that Bioshock Infinite is about Elizabeth, but Burial at Sea is really about Elizabeth. Again, we don't want to spoil anything, but we can say that the first part of Burial at Sea will launch this holiday. Our resident Pokemon expert says that Pokemon X and Y is everything the franchise has been needing for quite some time. Game Freak has packed so much new stuff and polished so many old problems that we can't help but be impressed. Battling with Pokemon in 3D and interacting with them in the Pokemon Ami feature brings us closer to our battle companions and the player search system and online features connect us to other trainers in a way we haven't been able to before. This is the most social and comprehensive Pokemon game yet. For a 9.5, you're gonna wanna check out our review. Riot will run yet another League of Legends tournament, this one for the best of the best. Riot is partnering with Coke Zero to run a league for the challenger tier of competitive play in League of Legends. The yet unnamed league, which begins in 2014 in North America and Europe only, will run alongside next year's League Championship Series and serve as an entry into the LCS for the top-ranked challenger players. We spoke with representatives from Riot and Coke Zero who told us how they are hoping the series will help bring esports in line with traditional sports. Now's my chance, you guys. I'm in. Valve shared more details on those Steam Machines everyone's been talking about. The 300 Steam Machine prototypes that Valve will be sending to Steam users later this year will be high-end computers built from off-the-shelf PC parts, basically. All will run Valve Steam OS. The company did point out that Steam Machine's third-party manufacturers will release in 2014 may differ, in many cases substantially, from the components and form factor of the prototype. Valve has shared a full list of the tech specifications, so be sure to check it out. It's about a foot by a foot by three inches, so it's a laptop. Right? Our Tracy Leanne caught up with some developers and publishers to talk about how the indie community is being affected by the next generation of consoles. Indie game makers have come a long way over the past five or six years. They used to exist on the fringes of the games industry and no one really paid attention to anything they were doing. But now indie game developers play an integral part in the games industry. And we're seeing this as Microsoft and Sony really make a push to support independent game developers. All right, it's the weekend. Get off the internet. You gotta finish GTA before Pokemon comes out. Okay, bye.